number of years ago, I developed an interest in botanical images. I had designed a number of residential gardens here in Los Angeles. I did this project called Supernatural, which includes my interests in relationships between nature and culture, politics and the individual. Combine that with my interests in the relationship of contemporary art making within the broader context of art history and how one is situated in that. I'm very interested in materiality and so that plays a part as well. How does one craft one's work? What are the qualities of materials that can suggest meaning. I've been following with great interest the developments, the cultural, political, legal, economical developments with this subject of cannabis, psychosyllabin drugs, etc and how we have very quickly been undergoing a vast change in our attitudes towards these drugs and our understanding about the efficacy and medicinal applications of these drugs. And it just seems like sort of this joining of my interest in botanical imagery and what that can say about our relationship with culture. So these paintings are intended to be playful and celebratory and also a little bit mysterious and potentially magical. So we have image representation within an abstract field and that is one of my interests is how do image and abstraction interact in the same space. In particular there are historical modes that I am referencing in some of these paintings for instance, the hallucinogenic images that were created in the 60s era, album cover art, for instance, and how they played with color and pattern to suggest sort of altered consciousness states of mind. Also in there come some references to other deeper heart historical modes like European religious art and even sometimes Greek mythology. So in this painting in particular, you can see I'm playing between the marriage of the image and the abstract field in which it resides. The image is highly designed, the pot plant is highly designed. I am more interested in the idea of than in a really true representation. So I cut and paste and edit things to make more of an iconic image. And then I wanted to play with what is the background pattern, drawing upon historical modes from the like 60s era hallucinogenic kind of album cover art and bringing in newer ideas about, in this case, fractal patterns. Fractals are these images that can be mathematically generated to infinity and they just endlessly repeat in nature. So there's this play between image and background and use of arbitrary color to heighten the visual effect. The way I've designed it, it becomes a little more anthropomorphic. These arms become like limbs and the orbs behind are sort of illuminated. I intend them to be mysterious, talismanic, magical, and they're open for the viewer to bring their own read to them. So I hope that people will come and let their own imaginations discover new things in these works. Mm -hmm.